Hi folks! Um, I wanted to show you the setup of charging my um, latest bubble sky. It's not quite finished. Um, I wanted to do a better outer layer, um, perhaps, perhaps with plasterite, but I can still charge it now. It doesn't change, the plasterite doesn't change all that much. Uh, just for, it's more of a decorational kind of thing. So this is already plugged in. Let me show you here. So it's plugged in and working. Uh, inside of this one is a 144 uh, frequency tensor generator. Um, I wanted to do a little test, <clears throat> excuse me, between this particular bubble and these two up here. Uh, this bubble over here is pi. Oops, I should turn this around. There we go. And it has a very low energetic uh, reading as far as voltage goes. Um, not sure what the life force uh, energy on this one is. If it was measured, probably a lot lower than the ones with the tensor generator. This one gets close to a volt. I've done some tests with that before without anything else. But today's test is going to be about the distance between the charging bubble and um, this bubble here. Um, let me tell you, I named it, uh, named it Q, Q5.0 or Q, and this one I named Pi. So I'm going to compare Q here to Pi because Q has a tensor generator also and Pi does not. And what I'm going to compare is just how much energy uh, they have from the um, charging that's going on over there. So without much uh, else to uh, go for here, uh, I'm going to pause this a second and set this up so that I have my hands free and I'm able to um, show you what the readings are when you have a tensor generator. Oh, here is one. This is what they look like. Uh, th they're made to different frequencies. Um, this one is six, uh, 639. And I've put it on one of my other inventions, the Dish Organite, which is a receptacle and has a, um, a tensor ring inside of it on the bottom that's a frequency of 174. I have to keep writing things on these because I've made so many different ones that uh, this is a North Carolina um, acetylite. So this is a stone for joy and I experienced that before I even heard that that's what it was. They are uh, they're all over in many states uh, different locations so you can find them. But let's get to this reading. Now this one has a tensor generator inside of it. I think it was a 528. Let me go check. No, a 432. This was a 432 frequency tensor generator, which is a wonderful frequency. This one does not. It only has the two crystals. So let me put the, uh, let me start here on zero. Um, let me set this up so I don't have to hold everything. This one here connects. Oh, I don't, I don't think you're seeing this. I'll move over. Let's do this bubble first. So Q has different places I can connect to. This here connects right to the tensor generator that's below. This is the rod that goes right through the center. And this is only a superficial swirly uh, type of thing. So the highest reading I get is from this little... Uh, thing because it's connected to the tensor generator and let's see what I'm getting here now mind you I'm at a distance I'm setting this to like 600 volts and we're getting 350 volts I would say that there is some distance charging going on from uh, the setup back here with a sky that's charging to this bubble here now if I move right over to the side here uh, just so you see that I'm keeping the same distance for both bubbles. Uh, okay, patience, please. I do need my hands free. <laughs> um, and I, uh, there is a little piece of aluminum that goes here. And I touch here. Uh, you see the difference in the reading? Well, now it's almost nothing, but earlier it was something. Let me put it a little closer, maybe. Maybe it will favor it more. So it's minimal. Let me go down some here. 
yeah, it's almost non-existent. Uh, that is one more, um, one more benefit of having a tensor generator in a bubble is if you place them near a charging bubble, you will have the generator uh, start activating and uh, create its own energy just by being in the vicinity. I would say this is about hmm, maybe two feet away. I would have to measure. Let me get my tape. I'm really bad with feet. Okay, I'm back. This is because I grew up on the metric system. So uh, this looks like 20, 20 inches to over there, or 21. I don't know how far you want to go, 20, 21 inches. Um, so it's a pretty amazing uh, situation where you see the difference between a bubble with a generator and a bubble without the generator, which leads me to believe that the uh, radius uh, and outreach is much farther than the... Uh, simple generator. In addition, I have an aura quartz crystal up here that's hanging and it can be exchanged, it's a pendant, that can be removed. Um, if you are not familiar with the tensor generators, again, this is what they look like. And I make them to like about 20 different frequencies. Uh, like there is the Viking frequency, the um, Jodian frequency, galactic, you know, just whatever you can name on the tensor uh, scales that are out there in measurements. Um, I can make these two different sizes, of course. They'll turn out a little different one from the other. Uh, I have experienced benefits from it, um, some EMF protection, and uh, also as I was going by a 5G tower. The first time I put the two ends, and I don't solder this, just so you know, I put the two ends together here. Um, I just before I even put this twirly around it, I just put them together. I felt like a huge wave in the room. I didn't know how else to describe it other than to say, well, maybe, uh, maybe it was a some sort of a portal opening or something. But it was an amazing wave that it felt like it was going over the room of energy. It was it was very very beneficial, kind of very uh, just a great feeling. I haven't had that experience since, although I've made many of the tensor generators. But um, I guess that shift needed to happen uh, the first time around. So this said, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day. Uh, look in the description of the video if you want to contact me. Um, I have these uh, on Etsy. It's about the only thing right now I have on Etsy. If you like to order it, uh, feel free to contact me there or privately through the video or my email, whatever. Uh, works for you and I'll try to address your questions. Um, I also favor uh, private purchase if you choose to do that. There's more information about it in the description of the videos. I have several tests that show the field that this has um, and there will be links to that in the description of the video. Um, well, just enjoy the uh, videos is all I can say and I hope that you find what you're looking for. Uh, I've gotten uh, good results from uh, and good feedback from people uh, telling me that uh, are very sensitive to EMFs and all that, that if they place it between their computer and themselves, um, they, feel, they feel the shift, the change. Um, so, you know, I can't quite say because I'm surrounded by it all the time, so at this point, it's just thank God. But um, yeah, perhaps uh, look into it and see what you think. Happy holidays to y'all and uh, stay in touch. Blessings.